with the first question of why is evaluation important, I thought I'd go on to, because I knew that Kelly would probably talk about the reasons why we need quantitative evaluations. And so going into what happens once we have the evidence. I think um, like having this type of research uh, would let us know what can be scaled up after we have an evaluation. Uh, a lot of things become unethical, like from a government perspective, if we go in not knowing what the actual impact of things were. We also need to know, once it's evaluated, what doesn't work. Uh, you know, a lot of things seem great when we are kind of theorizing them, but when the results don't come out, we need to scale back, and we need to not be afraid to scale back. Um, and so, you know, we can also adapt and scale programs as well, and, you know, kind of apply our research insights to, in order to inform policy. So how do we see quantitative and qualitative um, research acting, interacting? So here yeah, we know for a fact we've got you know, our materials in Funda One Day and our coaches going into schools. And the idea is that we need children to be able to read for meaning by the time they reach the uh, age of 10 years old. And so we get to those answers, or whether Funda One Day or whether another program was successful by doing our impact evaluation, which is you know, usually quantitative in nature. But we still really have that black box. All of this change happens in the classroom. And we've got many interventions now in South Africa with coaching becoming this new, you know, a very important field where we're saying that we're coaching. But what is the coaching in EGRS versus the coaching in Fundawande? What, you know, and so qualitative work will do that for us. So <laughs> one research article that has affected my thinking the most in the last three years is, you know, it goes down to, actually, it's not a research article, it was actually Martin's uh, PhD uh, thesis. And, you know, if you go down from, ooh, Okay, so into you know, the various folders, into what you know, he says that are the feasible education improvement targets. And this is you know, just speaking to what nations think that they can achieve in terms of we know where we are, well, from PEARLS or you know, from our, any national assessments, which would be great if we get a little bit more national assessments so that we actually can tell where we are. But how, how do we say we're going to improve? Like, do we want to improve from 20% children not understanding you know, the text to 60%? And if we actually look at that, um, if we're saying that in, within four years, children are going to go from 20% to um, 60%, we need the children to improve by 0.27 standard deviations a year. Now that is very similar to a very specialized, you know, kind of EGRS coaching intervention in small schools. This does not apply when we get into, you know, the country. Then you have all sorts of effects that are coming in. And so there he says that the most feasible target is 0.06. And I think we need to actually just be aware of that. And so what area of quantitative research? Um, on the topic of reading interventions, are we most? Am I most interested? Is, and this is really simple. What works? You know, just using the interventions, uh, impact evaluations, and interventions. And also another thing that is really important to me is fine. We might not know that this and this works, but what is scalable? What can we actually achieve in South Africa? And if I could send one message to about reading to Cyril Ramaphosa. So we've got the message from the State of a Nation address that you know, there are some policies that, you know, that can improve, that have been proven to improve learning outcomes to children so that you know, we can move towards the stage where they're reading for meaning by the age of 10. But this we don't usually see in the budget. And when thinking about how government works, uh, a lot of things can be said as lip service, but we only see it when it's in the budget. So, yeah. <laughs>